I want to create a game. And I've never created a game before. But I kind of want to just jump straight into it. And I want to take you along with me for the journey. I want to create a game that feels and plays like Castle Crashers and has a little bit of Into the Gungeon sprinkled on top. Have you ever played Castle Crashers? It's one of the best indie games of all time. If you haven't, let me explain to you why it is so awesome. Castle Crashers is a 2D side-scrolling beat-em-up. It has the super unique cartoon art style that is timeless. You never hear somebody saying, Dang, those graphics suck! to this game. The combat system of this game feels like you are a god of destruction the way you just combo your enemies to death. It also has RPG elements like skills that you can upgrade with skill points after each level. This allows you to have multiple different playstyles throughout the game, adding to the replayability of it. You want to focus on magic and destroy your foes with icicles? You can! You want to smack everyone senseless with a strength only build? You can! Now, what if Castle Crashers had guns? Hear me out. You combo the opponent with your melee and hit them up in the air, then rain down gunfire to finish them off. Sounds pretty cool, right? And this is where Enter the Gungeon's gunplay and movement system comes into play. I've never really been a huge fan of these games that are purely run based and have no progression system, which means if I die, I restart the entire game. Just like how Donkey explains here. It is unacceptably hard, and most of that torment can be attributed to the fact that if you die, you go all the way back to the start of the game. There is nothing more disheartening than losing all of your progress and having to start again from square one. However, I do love how Enter the Gungeon handles their guns. I mean, it's in the name. Gun Gen. The amount of guns and references that they have to other games and pop culture are just another reason why Enter the Gungeon is such a charming game. Like this man made a two hour video on how many references were in the game. I want to do something like this for my game as well. I want to have it so that you have so many options that you can choose whatever suits your best playstyle. Enter the Gungeon is known for its difficulty and its bullet hell enemies. Bullet hell is this. Yeah, that's a lot of things that can hurt you, coming at you fast. That's why they have this mechanic called dodge roll, where you can roll out of the way and you are invincible for a short amount of time. This is how you dodge most of the projectiles in the game. I want my game to have a similar combat system and movement system to this, where some enemies have the ability to fire back at you and the bosses will have these bullet hell mechanics. I think the combination of these games will create a party game like no other. Back in 2008, my friends and I would gather around on a couch and just play Castle Crashers for hours on end. And I feel like there aren't that many games like that anymore. So I want to make one. So yeah, that's the type of game that I want to create. And if you want to follow along for the journey, please hit that follow button down below. And wish me luck. Because I'll need it.